What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms and News, baby. Today, there was no update to the testing list. However, 25 new and updated mods were released today. Polycount Modding's John Deere Windrow's in-game. A2's Machinery first trailer's also in-game. Adams Kong shows off three different versions coming with his Beetle. Cola Modding are updating their Ford Cargo series. JA Modding's John Deere Disc is almost ready. Tired Iron Modding's New Holland TR series is out now. 4D Modding talk about their Brown trailer. Vertex Design tees their next manure spreader. MRG Mapping addresses his new console map. Plus, Oxygen David has two new screenshots from Calmston Farm. Let's check it out. As was mentioned, there was no update to the testing list today. However, 25 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Holy Cow Modding shows off their John Deere Windrow in game today, saying that there's not a lot left to do. So hopefully it will be in our mod folder soon. This is the first time that we've seen it in game, which is great to see. As always, there's no release dates nor release windows, but it is very nice to see this mod progressing as quickly as it is. Next up from A2 Studio, we see their 82's Machinery 10-ton hydraulic trailer. There will be many different configurations, including a bed, trailer with openable gates, and a tipper with different capacity configurations. There will also be options of cover, tension belts, and the trailer, which will be able to be strapped down for transport, making it nice and easy to move around. Plus, multiple wheel configurations, as we've seen and been accustomed to seeing with the TLX implements, and lastly, custom animations and a custom set of colors. Let's go night! Nitro Blue! Adams Kong shows off three models coming with their Beetle, the City, Country, and Off-Road versions. As we've seen from previous posts, there will be three different decades represented as well, from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. There will be even more new animations from gear shifting, accelerator, brake, and clutch as well. Very excited about this mod. Goal Modding are updating the Ford Cargo Series, also known as the Lizard Cargo Series. There's not much known about this update, but they do say that the update will be worked on this week and hopefully be ready by available in early April. Up next from JA Modding, they show some great progress on their John Deere 2730 disc. They have posted a really nice overview of the real life implement uh, on their Facebook page, if you guys want to go check that out, but it's not really having anything to do with the in-game stuff. What do we know about in-game? Well, we know it's going to require a bit of power, likely 300 or more, to get a big tractor and get ready. But we do know it's going to get the job done well. For those of you on the green team, this is going to be an excellent addition to your garage. Tired Iron Modding have officially released their New Holland TR5 and 6 Series combined to PC and Mac players over on their Facebook page. This is a mod that we've been following for some time now. It is finally here. Included with the pack is the TR85, 95, 86, and 96, as well as a six row and eight row headers and grain heads at 20, 25, and 30 feet. There's also animated sides, foldable extensions, dynamic hoses on the combine, animated belts, change pulleys and gears, as well as dashboard lights and animated levers and digital readouts. This is the largest project that Tired Iron Modding have attempted, and I would have to say, they have killed it. Congratulations. 4D Modding says that the Brown 32 foot trailer and potato box are completed. The trailer will have auto load, including on the potato box. Some testing is still needed to be done before the release, but once it's complete, they will release it on Airy Agri before editing the brand to upload to Giants for console release. It is unknown if the potato auto load boxes will be console ready. Vertex Design showed off one last preview of their Annaberger HTS 11 DO4 manure spreader before the Easter holiday this coming weekend. They say that it's already in game and on its way to mod hub testing will be released in the near future this is a mod that has been made for all platforms will hold 11,000 liters of manure and has different working widths from 10 12 and 15 meters you'll also be able to change up the tires as well lots of you have been asking when mrg mapping is going to release or work on their console map salt county wisconsin he says that he will have some new photos of this map in the coming weeks and that the map is already being worked on right now one thing to keep in mind is he has two other maps to finish before this one. If you want to watch him mod or play live, he's one of the best live streamers in Farm Sim and I highly recommend it. Streams over on YouTube and sometimes Facebook as well. I'll leave both of those links down below. And lastly, today Oxygen David shows new screenshots of his next map, Comston Farm, saying another cell point and sawmill going into the map and ready for the cinematic trailer coming soon. The cinematic trailer is said to be releasing on April 13th, 2021, which is in exactly two weeks. So keep an eye out for that. And keep an eye out for bad segues to the outro. I hear they're particularly bad this time of year. Just like every upset in Farms and News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates from us, so myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on 
in the world of farming simulator well guys that is going to be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the go and fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel want to let you guys know i am doing much much better today than i was yesterday as you can tell uh, i'm still able to talk i'm messing up some words but I'm trying really hard <laughs> all being said i hope you have a great day we will see you later You know, it's weird getting teeth out. You feel like your whole mouth's just gone.